Alrighty, Coach Neil here again, back again, uh, third day in a row, I'm doing well here. I said I'd aim for some consi the, the, the consistency, so here's, the, <laughs> that's that's what I'm doing. I haven't written a title for this one yet because I'm in a hurry because it's a quick one and I'm going to miss my window of opportunity. Alright, so tonight, uh, talk about sun gazing. Okay, sun gazing is an ancient, ancient practice whereby you look at the sun, but you don't look at the sun in the fucking middle of the day when it's burning, scorching hot and going to, you know, burn your eyes out of your head you look at the sun at dawn or dusk okay if you look at the sun at the dawn hours or the dusk hours the light uh, is safe uh, it's not dangerous to your eyes it passes through your eyes and it stimulates uh, uh, sim uh, sti stimulates what we call your pineal gland okay your pineal gland is like your third eye they call it right? it's um, it's something known as uh, you know the window to the soul or uh, as a if you're um, uh, interested in any, any sort of psychic type stuff they believe it's uh, uh, a sort of a, a gateway to your psychic abilities and powers I don't believe in that stuff but you know what each to their own and, and uh, if there's evidence to prove it then I'll, I'll, I'll listen to it but from my perspective sun gazing is good for your eyesight okay actually improves your eyesight uh, you can look that up don't take my word for it okay but there's plenty of studies that show that okay uh, sun gazing also decalcifies the pineal gland all right let me flick this around because I'm running out of sun all right okay right so the sun is setting now it's about uh, you know seven o'clock in the evening or something like that I've been down here for a while, so I haven't literally been sat here staring at the sun, but you just, you know, you sit outdoors in the natural light at uh, dusk or dawn, and that allows the, 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 the sunlight at that time to pass through your eyes and stimulate your pine uh, pineal gland, okay? It also decalcifies, uh, decalcifies the pineal gland, which is um, a big problem these days, uh, this day and age. Now, you can look that up, calcification of the pineal gland, thought to be caused by uh, fluoride, among many other things. Okay, so fluoridated water is thought to cause um, pineal gland calcification. And if you've got calcification on your pineal gland, then um, uh, your uh, serotonin and melatonin production will be uh, reduced, and also your uh, connection between your pituitary gland and your pineal gland will be diminished, okay? Let me flick this back around. All right, so the pineal gland and pituitary gland, they're, they're like a, you know, they act in unison, okay? And when both are uh, optimally functioning, you get a greater, uh, you get an increase in growth hormone, okay, so HDH, and you get an increase in the production of serotonin and melatonin, okay, which obviously uh, mood and sleep hormones, okay? So uh, increased serotonin helps to uh, balance your mood, okay, because it affects your uh, dopamine directly, okay? And um, melatonin is your sleep hormone, okay? So that regulates your circadian, circadian rhythm so that you uh, should you know, sleep when it's dark and wake when it's light and have a, a perfect rhythm of sleep, so to speak. So you're not um, up and down, uh, can't sleep, uh, wake up at all hours, you know, or can't wake up in the morning, very groggy, uh, stuff like that. So what I'm talking about here now is sun gazing. Let me flick this back around. So the sun is setting now. So sun gazing is literally the art of allowing sunshine or sunset and dawn to pass through your eyes to stimulate your pineal gland, which in turn uh, works with your pituitary gland, and together they boost your growth hormone production, pituitary, and your serotonin and melatonin through your pineal gland, okay? And sun glazing also reduces or, or, or uh, diminishes calcification of the pineal gland, which affects those processes. So it will reduce your serotonin and reduce your melatonin. All right, so uh, if you haven't followed me for a while, the number one takeaway from this is don't drink fucking fluoridated water, all right? Don't drink tap water. Uh, and don't listen to any dumb fuck that tries to tell you that fluoride is safe, because it's not, it's fucking toxic, all right? Um, so, on that note, drink filtered pure water you can drink that bloody newfangled kangen alkaline crap if you if you're into that all right it is actually quite good but uh, you don't need it all right but it is quite good uh filtered water is the best distilled water is okay but it has no minerals in it okay so bear that in mind and um other than that you know you're best off just get yourself a charcoal filter for home like a brita filter jug which has a charcoal filter in it and then you just drink your water that way. So you put your water in your jug and you let the charcoal filter in. It takes out probably 99% of the impurities. All right, so it's pretty good. Uh, but bottom line is, you know, if you're in a sunny area, at dawn or dusk, you want to sun gaze, uh, you know, as often as you can, to be quite honest. The more you do it, the better, uh, the better everything becomes. The better your general health and the better your eyesight, which I bet you didn't realise that. 
because if you stare at the sun during the day, you're going to damage your eyes. But if you stare at the sun at sun, sunrise or sunset, you will improve your eyesight. All right, so uh, you can take that to the bank. All right. So on that note, just a quick one tonight. Uh, and I'm going to flick this around, boom. All right, so the sun is almost set. All right, isn't that beautiful, hey? Jesus, a hard life. Uh, so on that note, uh, do not be afraid of the sun. Okay, the sun is the actual living force of the planet. All right, without the sun, everything dies. Okay, um, so bear that in mind. You know, don't be scared by these fuckwits that tell you to stay out of the sun because it causes cancer, and you know, not to look at the sun because it damages your eyes. Sun gazing, sunrise and sunset is a perfect practice for optimal health, okay? And uh, sun exposure, as in on your skin and on your body, uh, you know, in the earlier hours of the day or in the later, later hours of the day, so it's not so scorching hot, is also very good for your health and your body, all right? Uh, I'll do another video soon on the sun and cancer because that'll be a hot topic. <laughs> all right, folks, on that note, that's me for today, all right? That's day three. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. That's three days in a row. All right, so it's a long commitment for me. Uh, on that note, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I haven't decided yet what it'll be on, but we'll figure it out. Cheers, folks. See you. Bye.